check, check. Okay, you're good. Check, check. All right. Just start filming. Um, this is the unlock. You got. And then, then where's the film button? And we are underway on this Sunday for Hopkinton Hillers Dover Sherborne Girls Varsity Hockey as they take on Medway. Tom Nappy, Steve Watson on the call for today's game. Hopkinton Dover Sherborne in their home jerseys working left to right across your radio as into the Medway zone we go. Last game of the season for Hopkinton Dover Sherborne. They're certainly hoping for a repeat performance as yesterday. Along the far side boards. And now it'll float into Hopkinton territory. And there's a shot and a goal for Medway. How about that? A nice start for Medway as Jenna Fitzsimmons nets it in. And it's one nothing. Back to the face-off circle we go. That goal comes with 21.42 left to go in this first half. And a nice way to start for Medway. Working up the far side now. That is Emily Infanger, and there's a shot wrapped up by McCluskey, and we'll have a face-off. And Steve, it doesn't get uh, any better of a start than that for Medway. No, that's a fantastic start, exactly what the doctor ordered. And now around the net they go. Along the near side. Works out in a, the Hopkinton offensive zone. 2.22 minute, 30 second halves in this one. As it's been all season long. Up around the boards now. A couple technical glitches to start off this broadcast, but everything should be working properly now. Well, Tom, it would not be a broadcast without a few glitches, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Pass did the trade. And Fanger along the near side. And of course, we had a rush to set up. They had another game before us and gave us about five minutes to set up. That's, like oh, that's just wonderful. Three or four <laughs> minutes. <laughs> If only it was a national type of broadcast, you could have the TV timeouts. Yep. <laughs> only if only, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Hopkins had picked up a nice tie yesterday against Westwood. They ended up scoring in the final seconds of the game. Sophia Mazzucchelli had the game tying goal. Is quickly approaching was Brianna Renault. She's turned around. Jammed up now along the near side boards. And there's a shot off the glove of McCluskey from the stick of Fitzgerald. Medway trying to put some pressure on here in the early minutes. All kinds of traffic in front of the net as Turcotte shoots wide. There's another shot there. Turcotte trying to bring it around. 
Out in front now. Another shot is deferred. And this Medway team, they're a co-op team as well. They have some BVT players on the roster, Ashland and Holliston. So two co-op teams going at it here in this TVL matchup. Is that is deferred by the Medway goalie. On the near side off the stick of Lester. Merkel. Feeds it over. Up and around it goes. Long near side. Handle that center ice by Swinhammer. Floating towards the Medway net and quickly taken by McGovern. Sent up and around. Sophie Mazzucchelli trying to get it out of the corner. Matched up with Moriarty. Now Cruz. Along the corner, that is Fitzsimmons. That's sent back to Lester. And along the far side, Cruz. And Medway working it up the ice. Pressure has gotten better for Hopkinton as the season has gone on. This Medway team certainly a tall task at hand today. Sent over to the neutral zone as Hopkinton will make a change. for Medway McLeod. And McLeod, she's cut off by Swinhammer. Into the corner it goes. And there's a backhander in front of the net wrapped up by McCluskey. And we'll get a face off with 16.03 left in this half. Taking it around. There's a shot off the defender by Fitzgerald. Just wide there. Off the stick of Fitzsimmons. Hopkinton doing a nice job at defending in front of the net. Gerald sends it out. Now Hopkinson trying to work up the far side. Handled by Cruz. Here comes Medway. And Steve, we, we'd like to thank you for uh, picking up the duty of camera today. Because that's right in front of the net and shoot away. Back to the blue line, sent up now by Monahan. Someone has to do it, Tom, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cruz trying to dig it out of the corner. Here comes Hopkinson, Wayne. Now Monahan. Working up the ice, takes a shot, glove save McCluskey. And we'll get another face off at 14-18 left. Along the corner, handled by Merkel.
Sends it up the near side boards. Now along the far side, that's Cruz. We're getting in there for a shot and a glove save. It was uh, Haley Cox on the shot. And goalie for Medweights, the senior, Jenna Schutt from Holliston. Up the far side now. Sent over to the corner by Merkel. up by Fitzsimmons and now Cruz trying to approach she'll get jammed up with Merkel steal at the blue line by Moriarty who sends it down one nothing lead for Medway they scored about 40 seconds in goal by Jenna Fitzsimmons Back to the blue line. There's a shot just wide. And we'll get an icing call here. This faceoff will come at 12.40 left in the half. stoppage here. Perhaps an equipment malfunction. Yeah, it looks like something with McCluskey's left pad. One of the shots is probably loose. A lot of equipment that they have to worry about. Absolutely. Back to the blue line of Fitzgerald. And I can't imagine it's easy putting it on when you don't have locker room you, availability. Yeah. It's hard as it is, and then you factor in there's no locker rooms, it's just that much harder. Right. Back to Medway territory we go. Brushed off by the goaltender there, handled by Renault. Along the far side. Now approaching, it's Turcotte. was trying to get in there. Here comes DeRocher. Turcotte. Yeah, nice brush away there by Yanoshak. Here comes Bailey. Bailey takes a shot right off the defender. Picking it up in the neutral zone, Merkel. Well, on the far side she goes. And Fanger trying to work up the ice. It's an interesting situation in this game. You have a BBT player on Hopkins and Dover Sherborne and Sophie Mazzucalli going up against some of her schoolmates on this Medway team. And here comes Medway, the cloud. And that shot is diverted into the protective netting by Merkel. And a play it goes, we'll have a face-off. Jammed up along the near side. Nicely played off the skate there by Swinhammer. And around by 
Kick it out was Merkel. Hopkinson looking for a shot here. As a Kelly trying to get in there. And some good defensive work by Medway. And we'll have an icing. 10-16 left to go in the first half. Remains a 1-0 Medway lead. And Hopkinson doing a pretty good job at getting to the puck. But we have a break here. Racing up the ice. Backhander just wide is Infanger. Eleven off sides. Medway was hoping for the backhanded score there, Steve. Almost. So close, but it was not meant to be. Cruz gets it along the far side. Forced into Medway territory. Comes Fitzsimmons. Now racing up the ice, Lester. Gets it past the defender, brushed off by McCluskey. Along the near side now, there's a shot from the top of the circle and wrapped up. Off the stick of Monaghan. side handled by Lester rushed over to the far side circle up and around the net it goes Frazier sends it over at the blue line over the corner Nice brush in front, but no one there. Picking it up along the far side in Fanger. Handled in the neutral zone by Fitzgerald. Popped off the boards. And sent back up by Cox. Lester brushes it up the far side. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Now DeRocher trying to escape with it. On the near side. And brushed into Hopkinton territory. Handled by Swinhammer. And now on a potential break here, and a shot just wide by Emily Swinhammer. And I think we're going to have a trip. Swinhammer on a good break up the ice. And this is going to lead to a power play for Hopkins and Dover Sherborne. Heading to the box, Caitlin Condlin, the junior, with the tripping call. Looks like that should be a two for a hook. Ah. Essentially the same thing. Same, the same thing. Same purpose <laughs> in this situation. That's one of those penalties that's probably worthwhile taking. Right. Because then you pretty much cut down that scoring chance. Let's see what Hopkins and Dover Sherboy could do here in the power play. And a good brush away there by Medway. Merkel will track it down. Trying to escape with it, Patrick. Patrick with some nice work up the far side. And there's a shot brushed away off the stick of Abby Wayne. Over to Merkel, sends it flying. On 
Over the corner. Sent back down there by Wayne. And a backhander, and it was Swinhammer in front of the net trying to force it in. 45 seconds left on the power play. Urkel works it up, and that's shot by Patrick off the defender, and we'll have a stoppage and a penalty, it looks like. And it looks like it's going to be again against Medway. So that is going to be against Turcotte, I believe for a slash. And it is going to be a two player advantage for Hopkins and Dover Sherborne for the next 33 seconds. Then they'll have the one player advantage for the remaining minute 37. So a huge opportunity here for Hopkins and Dover Sherborne. Yano Shack. Can't work her way past the blue line. Sent back down and around. Busky up to Cox. Racing along the far side, Swinhammer. She's tripped up, getting to it in the corner in Fanger. Now it's down to a one player advantage for Hopkins and Dover Sherborne as the initial penalty has expired on Medway. Up the far side of DeRocher. Fox gets in there. Handled in the neutral zone by Yano Shack. Trying to come away with it, Cruz. Around the net she goes. She'll hold on to it. Trying to burn off that. Power play a little bit more. 40 seconds left on the power play. And we'll see if Hopkins and Dover Sherborne can get one last charge here. Rushed away, getting over to it is Patrick. And there now Wayne. Up and around it goes. Along the corner. Big collision in that corner. As a Kelly trying to dig it out of there. And it's brushed away once again. Well, it looks like it's going to be a successful penalty kill for Medway. As the power play does it indeed expire. And now here's a break and a shot turned away. Still out in front and it is going to be covered up by McCluskey. Good cover up there. As quickly approaching was Michaela Gledhill. 4.09 left to go in the first half. A 1 0 lead for Medway. After a su couple of successful penalty kills. Merkel. Racing up the ice. And a collision along the near side. Coming away with it is Fitzgerald. A big hit delivered there. Up along the near side boards it goes. Back into Medway territory. Corner, Givens. Here comes Medway Monahan trying to approach. She's cut off by Yanoshak. Now it's stolen back. 
to get it out in front there was Fitzsimmons brushed away. And now a shot in front of the net and another Medway goal. Maggie Lester nets it. A great feed by Fitzsimmons. And it's a 2-0 game. Score comes with 2.52 left to go in the half. That was a good job by Medway creating traffic in front of the net there, Steve. Yes, a good pressure right there, and they get rewarded. On the near side, Lester sends it over. Another break here. Sends it back. That shot is cut off. We'll have an icing. Faceoff will come at 2.35 left to go in the half. There's a quick shot out in front. Turned away by McCluskey. Trying to dig it in was Cruz. Far side to Rocher. Jammed up along the boards now. Merkel trying to track it down. Merkel approaching the net, looking for a shot. And no one there. She would have liked to get that shot off a little sooner. And there's a quick shot turned away. Out in front now. And the secondary shot by Frazier turned away. Good pressure. There comes Medway. Racing down Chuslow. Jammed up along the boards and it's sent away. Along the corner, Haley Cox. Intercepted. Pass back over to Fitzgerald. Up and around it goes to Moriarty. Sent up and around by Mason White. Chuslow trying to dig it out of the corner. Coming away with it, Moriarty. Now she's cut off. Here comes Hopkinton looking for a drive here. This is Bailey. She'll send it towards the net. 30 seconds and counting left to go in the half. side McLeod getting in there Abby Wayne here comes Wayne and it's sent back and that is going to do it for a half number one after one half of play it is Medway two Hopkinton nothing the second 22 and a half minute frame coming up next on HCAN.
two, one. And we are ready for the second half between Hopkinton Dover Sherborne Co-op and Medway Holliston Co-op. A two nothing game as of right now. Jenna Fitzsimmons, the sophomore, had a goal for Medway at 21.42 left, so about 45 seconds or so into action. And then a goal by Maggie Lester, assisted by Fitzsimmons with 2.52 left to go in the first half. Hopkinton Dover Sherborne had a couple of power play opportunities, but were unable to capitalize. But Steve, I don't know about you, but as the season has gone on, I've noticed the puck control for Hopkinton Dover Sherborne has gotten a lot better. It has. It's been a lot better, a lot cleaner, more sustained pressure, which is obviously crucial. And off the faceoff. We are underway in the second half. Fitzsimmons kind of working up the far side. Patrick gets in there. Sends it up to Mazzucchelli. Sent back down by Lester. Fitzgerald sends it across. Sent back up now by Janoshak. And we'll get a icing. Twenty-two oh two left to go in this game. This is our, believe it or not, last hockey broadcast of the winter sports season. It so seems like it just started, doesn't it? I know, I know, it certainly does. But typically by now we have about 20 games under our belt. And we'd be getting ready to go to uh, Bourne for playoff games. And we've got another icing call here. But it was just good that the kids were able to get out there this season, have an opportunity to play. was of course the theme of that's the theme of the year really just getting out there and being able to play yep after that horrific uh, time we had to go through in the spring and Fanger sends it up the near side getting in there Cruz sends it out going to it along the far side that's Lester and Lester sends it in front of the net shot just wide by Fitzsimmons Cruz works it up the boards over to Moriarty and she'll send it towards the net. A little wide there. On the near side, Fitzsimmons. Sent out and that shot diverted and now it's covered up by McCluskey as Lester gets the stick in there. Medway putting on the pressure. Near side in Fanger. She'll take a slap at it, and that's wrapped up. Love save McCluskey. There goes Wayne. On the near side now, trying to get through is DeRocher. Jammed up, all kinds of Mustangs along the boards, and uh, we'll get a COVID whistle here, I believe. Breaking up those groupings. Hopefully you'll never see one of those again following this game, Tom. <laughs> right? Yep, absolutely. I kind of don't mind it when the puck is completely jammed against the boards, though. It's kind of like in a fight where it's like, where they're down, you know, in a UFC fight where they're down on the mat, but they're not really yes. doing anything. And it's it like, all right, get back to action. Yeah, they're not really funny, just uh, tangled, really. Right. But certain situations, it's not fun to get those COVID whistles as McLeod trying to get it out of the corner. Bailey put a nice hit in on her. 
far side it goes. And Banger tracks it down. Sent over up behind the net. Ryerty picks it up in the far side corner, sends it up towards Givens. Cloud works it up the ice. And cut off there was Moriarty. Fitzgerald gets to it, being tracked down by Swinhammer. Sends it over to Infanger. And now Patrick trying to come away with it, but offsides. Second too soon crossing that blue line. Yanoshak. Patrick gets in there. Sends it over to Mazzucchelli. Ooh, offsides. Patrick crossed a little bit before the puck. Far side, Renault sends it over. Racing up Fitzgerald. Jammed up long with Mazzucchelli along the boards. Patrick pokes it out. Mazzucchelli gets in there, slaps it away. And here comes Swinhammer. Looking for Mazzucchelli, a little too much mustard on that pass. Up and around it goes. Mazzucchelli gets there, gets a shot off just wide. On the near side corner. Patrick trying to dig it out. Sent towards the net by El Halali and brushed away. Up the far side comes Fitzgerald, takes a shot, little high. On the corner, Chuslow. Jammed up along the corner. And escaping with it is Medway. Hopkinton gets it back, sent over. Looked up the ice by Swinhammer. Change for a Hopkinton to over Sherbourne. Racing up the near side, Fitzsimmons. Rushes in front of the net, shot, and it's deferred. Another good save by McCluskey. McCluskey has kept them in a lot of games this year. And that was a pretty good shot there by Cruz. She had 55 saves in yesterday's game. And only one goal left, a 55 of 56. That is uh, it's pretty impressive. That is very impressive. What's that for a percentage, Steve? Uh, <laughs> 90 something you ever do math you ever do, Tom, you ever do math on a, no, on a, uh, on, on a non work day come on <laughs> i think it's like 99.5 it's it, it's high <laughs> sent over by swinhammer on the air side sent out getting there is variety Into Medway territory it goes, trying to track it down. Merkel jammed up along with Leadhill. And squirts out into the far side corner. Picked up by Cruz. And up towards Lester. Back to the neutral zone, Wayne. And now here comes Cruz. And getting in front of her, Merkel. Nice pass and a backhander out in front of the net and it's brushed away. And there's a shot by Moriarty diverted as Merkel got her body in there. 
Just under 16 minutes left to play in this game. Sucked into the neutral zone and trying to escape Swinhammer. She lost her stick. I think she was pointing at the Medway player there saying, hey, she grabbed my stick. And now Medway looking for a break. McLeod. No call by the officials, much to the dismay of the home fans. A shot there and a glove save off the stick of McLeod. Faceoff comes with 15.29 left. And that shot sky high and a glove save. And Banger sent that one flying. Kelly was trying to work it by up the near side. Now in the corner, that's Cox. Here's Mazzucchelli, sends it over. Racing up, Swinhammer sends it out in front of the net, brushed away. In Fanger. Up the far side, delivered a hit by Janoszak. Swinhammer trying to get in there. There's Mazzucchelli. Sophia Mazzucchelli trying to work it by. Sent back. Over to the corner to Moriarty. Racing up, Fitzsimmons. And we might have a delayed call here coming up. Looks like there may have been a trip. Top of the circle, there's a shot. Locked up along the far side. Sent over to Monahan. There's a wrister, and that's wrapped up by McCluskey. And we are indeed going to have a tripping call. Yeah, that one was a little too obvious right in front of the yep. official. It's going to be on Hopkinson, Dover, Sherborne, and Ike Janoshak heads to the box for two minutes. Medway will be on the power play, their first one of the game. And offsides. Racing up in Fanger. Sends it out. No one there. Now it's poked out. Here comes Medway looking for a shot. Set out in front. Still in the danger zone. What a dive by McCluskey and a save. Lester on the shot. And it was just kind of hanging there. And McCluskey able to dive and get the glove on it before Fitzsimmons could get in there. Patrick trying to escape with it. corner, Swinhammer sends it out. In the Medway territory it goes. Patrick trying to get it out of the gridlock. Back to the neutral zone, Wayne. Sent over, Medway looking for a drive down here. As Cruz was coming across, We'll get an offsides call. Fifty-seven seconds left on the Medway power play. Here comes
comes Fitzgerald. Jammed up along the boards with Wayne. Sent up and around. Squirts back out into Medway territory. Tracked down by Monaghan. Medway looking for an attack. Some good stick work here. And turn away his battles. Sent up by Swinhammer. Ten seconds left on the power play. And Master Kelly with the steal. Out in front. And it's going to be wrapped up by the goaltender. There's Bailey who's trying to get the shot off. Power play has expired. This faceoff comes with 11.48 left in the game. I'm happy Steve Watson, happy to be with you for this matchup. Final game of the season at the hockey rinks for H Cam. Sent out in front, backhander just wide by Moriarty. On the far side now, there's a quick shot. That's just wide. Sent into the slot area, handled by Cox. Sends it over to DeRocher. DeRocher looking to break up ice. She's diverted by Infanger. And here comes Medway. Racing in. And around goes Cruz. And now, jammed up along the corner there. Cruz sends it over to Fitzsimmons. Up to Moriarty. She'll take a shot at it. Poked out by McCluskey. Loose puck. And it's still in play and sent away. Just able to keep it away. Good defensive work by Hopkinton. And off the bench with a steal. Mazzucchelli sends it to the corner. Banger sends it out. Sent over by Cruz. And taken away by Mer from Moriarty. Merkel. Gonna work it around the net. And taken away by Cruz. Here comes Fitzgerald. Now getting in there is Cruz. Cruz matched up with Merkel. Sent up to Mazzucchelli. And it's stolen by Moriarty. Moriarty with some stick work. Looking for a shot. And a nice job by Merkel boxing her out. As a Kelly sends it over. Racing to the corner, Swinhammer. Just under nine minutes left to go in this game. That is poked out by Cox. Billy Cox sends it up the ice. And we'll have an icing. Racing call comes at 8.37 left to go. Pass up to Frazier. Frazier. 
Grosher slaps it into the corner. Now, the shot turned away. And they try to get in front of the net again. That was quickly brushed away. Grosher was trying to stuff it in there. We'll have another icing call, however. And a face-off in Medway territory at 8.09 left to go. A few substitutions by both teams. Set up and around towards Infanger. Here comes Medway looking for a break. That pass a little off the mark from Fitzsimmons. As Kelly was trying to turn it up ice. And now here comes Cox. Ooh, big collision along the backboards. As Kelly jammed up along the near side. Wayne trying to get the shot off. Merkel. Trying to take it around. Feeds it out. There's a shot. And it's wrapped up. A nice wrister there from Leanna Patrick. And we'll get a face off at 722. On the near side. Merkel tracks it down. Stolen away by Lester. She'll take a shot. That's brushed away by the goalkeeper. Mazzucchelli. Trying to work it up the ice. Into the corner it goes. Merkel will track it down. comes Medway and we'll have an icing good pressure by Hopkins and Dover Sherborne on the last couple of series yes the solid pressure just haven't gotten one home yet that's the key word especially after yesterday's game it took them a all game long, till about 11 seconds left to tie things up at one apiece. Into the corner it goes. Chuslow trying to dig it out. Fitzgerald sends it out, and now a shot opportunity here, and out in front of the net, and that is wrapped up. Another good save by Jenna Shutt, who's having a good game. With a lot of great saves. That was great pressure in front of the net by Swinhammer and Bailey. Redway right trying to race up the ice. And that shot a little wide. It's Gerald. And it's sent away by Yanoshak. That was Lily Turcott showing off some good speed for Medway. Fitzgerald sends it to the corner. Diverted by Cox. Now Wayne. Edway trying to create an opportunity here. Sent away by Wayne. Pass by DeRocher. Here comes Bailey. Sends it over. Swinhammer. And she'll take a shot. And big collision. Along the corner is Infanger. Got the best of Swinhammer on that one. Here comes Medway. 
And a nice steal by Wayne. Up and around it goes, up to the near side. Wayne. Fox. Sends it into Medway territory. Hopkins in the midst of a change. Sent down by Infanger. Wayne collects. Sent over by McLeod. Now up by Cox, jammed up along the far side boards. Wayne and Cloud match up on the corner. Coaching 3.45 left to go in this second half. Hopkins and Dover Sherborne running out of time to break this Medway shutout. Monahan sends it over. Working her way up in Fanger. Now here's a break, looking for a shot, turned away. Good shot by Cruz. Over to Fitzsimmons. Cruz trying to get in there once again and stuff it in, and it's turned away. Now some pushing and shoving in front of the net, and uh-oh, we're going to have some penalties here. Abby Wayne getting a little physical there with Katie Cruz and others. Yeah, I think some uh, frustrations are starting to set in here, Tom. I think so. It's been a pretty physical game between these two, I must say. Oh, it is the last game of the season, and, and you're trying to uh, end things on a high note. And I like what the officials did here. They're letting them play. They didn't call anything. Exactly. They know hockey can be a frustrating yep. sport, and that it's a physical game. And I think uh, they just told the players, take it easy. And McCluskey locks that one up. Well, Krista McCluskey, once again, has been tremendous in net for Hopkinton. Yeah, she's been fantastic all season, really. So back over to Moriarty. Rister punched away. Back to Moriarty. Sends it flying to the net and it went off of Cruz. Cruz trying to swing it around. Has a Kelly trying to get there. And make that Merkel. Off the boards goes Priority. Hopkinson. Trying to clear it away. Pass up by Bailey. Now it's taken away by Cruz. There's a shot and a save by McCluskey. I think she had that lock right between the legs there. Two of five left to go in the first half. Or excuse me, in the game, in the second half. <laughs> now Tom, let me ask you, do you, do you prefer that they keep the halves for next year or do they go back to periods? I personally like the halves but I don't think it's a I don't think it's a coach's favorite yeah <laughs> I think they'll probably go back to periods I think the coaches like to have some time to talk to their teams yeah. and regroup and go into the locker room take a breather so I'd imagine we'll be back at periods when things are normal I guess and wow what a shot there by Infanger and it ends up in the net nothing you can do about that one that was a beauty that puck had seeing eyes right there that went off of the left post and off of the right post into the netting. And that goal comes with 150 left in the game to make it three to nothing. And Tom, as you said, on that goal, there's just really not much you can do. Certainly that not. That was just a beauty of a shot. Along the near side. Wayne sends it up towards Mazzucchelli. Patrick trying to break free. Mazzucchelli matched up with McLeod. Oh. 
Handled by Cox. Givens trying to get it out of the corner. There's a wrister and a save. Patrick was hoping for a little luck on that one. Nice shot there by Leanna Patrick. Sophomore out of Nipmuc. And there's a quick shot. Into traffic it goes by Swinhammer. Under a minute left to go. And they're gonna play it out as the season coming to an end for both these teams. And they have certainly, I think, put everything they've got into this game. They have played really hard out there. Handled by Fitzgerald. 30 seconds left now. Medway might have a break here. There goes Cruz. Patrick sends it up. Over to the blue line, Fitzgerald with a shot glove save. And we'll have a face off with nine seconds left. Well, I think uh, Husky might have another 50 saves tonight. Yeah. It's been great goaltending on both sides today. Yep, a lot of good saves. Yep, out in front of the net, brushed away. Jenna Shutt has done a tremendous job in net as well, and that'll do it. Medway gonna come away with the three to nothing victory. And that is going to wrap up what was a Fun season for Hopkinton Dover Sherborne. Of course, not the season that they would like. They'd like the regular 20 games and playoff situation and schedule situation, but they're just glad they got an opportunity to get out there and play. And we'll have the COVID handshake now. A sign of respect from these TVL rivals. But Medway takes down Hopkinton Dover Sherborne three to nothing. And Steve, any final thoughts? Hard fought battle. Hats off for at least completing a season. A lot of people said it couldn't be done. Absolutely. Well, you know what? It got done. Hopefully, for those who will be back next year, the world's back on kilter by then. Yep. So. And those times it looked a little shaky, but they got through it and got it done. And it was certainly fun to watch and fun to broadcast. But that is going to do it from the New England Sports Center. Medway over Hopkinton, Dover, Sherborne, 3 to nothing. For my broadcast partner, Steve Watson, I'm Tom Nappy. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, everybody.